newcomers, old timers. What's up, everybody? Let me turn this other light on back here behind the camera. And um, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna be doing today. Give y'all a few minutes to get on. I'm gonna go ahead, turn the seat press on, and make sure the setting is correct. Good. That's good. So we gonna go with what we got. What I do? Oh, I said what I just do with my glasses. What is up? What's the tea? How you doing, Jesse, Jocelyn, Jocelyn, Marissa, Brad? What's up, y'all? All right. So I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna be printing today, and um, and I'm gonna let y'all kind of help me decide because I had a couple of uh a couple of shirts that I was going to print on, but I was not sure exactly what I want to print on. All right, so I'm going to be printing this one right here, the LeBron transfer right here. So I got two options, and I'm and I'm going to bring y'all over here so that I can let y'all see what it's going to look like. All right, so I'm doing this one because y'all know your girl, I don't, I'm not a LeBron person, so I'm printing this for my nephew who likes LeBron James, okay? So I can either put it on this hoodie right here, the gold hoodie, and let me see. It's looking like this right here on the gold hoodie. Or I can put it on this purple shirt because I wanted to do like Lakers color, colors or whatever, at least do the Lakers colorways. And instead of printing on like a white, I guess I could print it on white, but um, let me know what y'all think. What y'all think? Y'all think it put it on the purple right here or put it on the gold right here. All right. So right now I'm just waiting on the heat press to warm up and that's the two choices I got right there. And this live stream is not going to be an all day live stream because I did forget my, um, to bring my battery packs over here today. All right, so I got Paulette says gold. Jesse says purple. What's up, Mr. George? Says how I'm making. I'm making two. I'm making two transfers and tutorials. All right. Um, Tanya says nice. Jocelyn says don't forget to hit the like button. Paula says, hello, what's up, pa Paula? Paulette, we got Black Bull up in this thing. Platinum Plus Apparel. What's up, Sam, Rick, how y'all doing? Mary, I think I got everybody. All right, so I'm gonna go down. So I got purple, purple, and I got gold, gold. So it's purple is somebody else's favorite color, so it's three to two. Four five for gold. Four for for purple. So I guess we go. Hey, I only got one transfer to put it on, Dr. Flake. That's why I'm choosing. These are sample transfers that I um uh, that I got. Um all the people that, that's been keeping up with me. Um the last live stream I did, I got these in and I was trying to do them, but I was like super busy that day. So I didn't get to do the whole video. What's up, Sher Charlene? All the way from Jamaica. All right. All right. That's a place I have never been. I would like to go though. So let me go back and count, count the colors. So we got purple, purple. Then we got gold, gold. So it's two to two. And then we got gold. And then we got purple is my favorite color and purple. Y'all, I can't keep up. So how many purples we got? One, two. Three, four, five purples. Four Corners said purple. What's up, Four Corners? Thank you for, for joining Plus. Appreciate that. All right, so I, it's looking kind of like purple is winning. Look like purple is winning because we still got people putting purples down there. So we gonna, I'm waiting on the heat press to heat up right now. So we're going to put it on the purple t-shirt then. I was going to toss it on this hoodie 
Because I was like, yeah, he he love this, uh, love that hoodie. And then something that he can wear wear when you know once it gets colder. You know, like with the with the shirt, with the t-shirt. He that's kind of like a one-time wear. I think the gold dress will show up better on. I'm gonna let y'all look at it again. I'm gonna let y'all look at it again. All right, so let me let me see. Okay, so see like this go the jersey is a little more yellow than gold, you know. So I think it would be it would be okay on this one. And I that was kind of the one I was gonna just print it on, but I was like, let me let y'all help me decide. But that's what it's looking like on there. And like the the gold, let me kind of let y'all see. You see, it's it's kind of two different colors. You know, that the, the jersey is more yellow on here than gold. And then I'm gonna show y'all the purple. The only thing with the purple is because the, the letters are dark. That was kind of what I was, you know, worried about with that. But I was like, I'm going to let y'all help me choose, you know, because the letters are black. The, you know, the, everything will show up, but the only thing is putting black letters, even though they are outlined. Um, to be honest with you, I, if I, if I wasn't asking for y'all help, I would go with the gold, um, just so it would show up a little better, especially with the wording, wording or whatever. But I'm going to go by what y'all say. I asked for y'all help. I'm going to listen to y'all. So why ask for help if you're not going to take that advice? All right, so yeah. Yeah, and he could wear the hoodie more. He could and and the hoodie, he uh my mom asked me to get him uh extra large hoodies for school cuz I I had to get him some school hoodies. But um as far as yeah, I wish I had two of these so that I could print it just to to let y'all see what it's gonna look like, cause I really, I really don't think that black and being on the purple is gonna come out that good. But y'all said purple, so I'll go with, I'm gonna go with what y'all said. And the hoodie will get worn a lot more. Um, let me see, cause it looked like purple is winning. They said it pops better on the purple. Uh, Jewel says Jewel prefers the hoodie though. I like. Purple, like purple better yeah I, I think purple has won Jewel. we gonna we gonna go ahead and go with the purple for that but i just didn't really like the you know the black lettering on the purple i think the gold because it's too different uh it's a yellow the jer that the lakers jersey is yellow and the jersey is gold but we don't i'm gonna go with y'all what y'all ask um i actually got the transfers from big boy prince um contacted me and, and asked me or for my address and he wants to send me some transfers so big boy prince and also i am going to be on big boy prince um live stream next friday on the first at at 9 p.m it starts at 9 p.m so i would appreciate it if y'all all come over there and show you girls some support um that we just gonna be i don't know exactly what you know what we're gonna be talking about but we're gonna be live over there on next friday um, these are sample transfers. Y'all, I don't think y'all be paying attention. A lot of people be asking me the same questions, and I be saying it in the videos. Like, uh, somebody asked me if I do DTF transfers, but when I did the video that they asked it on, I said that I had got these in the mail from, uh, Big Boy Prince and these T's and things. That both of them, they kind of work together, but, um, but yeah, I, you know, I be kind of trying to explain it in the video, but I think... Sometimes maybe people come in late or they don't watch the whole video and stuff like that. But um, but yeah, these I, I do not have a DTF printer. I have done a tour of my shop. I am getting ready to uh film the videos for my um just you know talk about my equipment because a lot of people have been asking about that too. But um yep, we all the way live. But we're going to go with the purple, all right? It's on 297, so it's about to pick up. All right, I got a couple of more options. We, we did take a long time on that one. So let me go ahead and cut this thing off right here. All right, so I'm going to be pressing this shirt right here. Let me lay it down on here, and I can let y'all see what that's going to be looking like. Um, Because I'm doing this one for my mom right here. So I got this, this right here, 
putting that on there. I didn't have one with black sleeves. I usually would go with the black sleeves, but since red is her favorite color, we're going with that right there on there. So we'll be pressing that one. And then we got, where is it? All right, so I'm gonna show y'all the lime shirt, the lime green shirt first. And let me see if I can get it more over here where y'all can see a little bit better. So I'm gonna be putting this transfer on, the, on either this lime green. This is what it's looking like on the lime green. So y'all make sure y'all get a good look. And then I'm put that next color up there. All right, the heat press is ready. And then we got this gold shirt and that's it right there. And after y'all tell me what y'all think, I'm gonna let y'all know, know what my choice would be. So we got that right there. And we're gonna put it on the green one again and let you check that out. That's what it's looking like on the lime green right there. And I'm waiting on UPS, y'all. So I was just like, let me go live and try to finish this video while I'm waiting so I can start printing. Um, all right, so let me see. See what everybody's saying on this. So, okay, we got lime green, green, go. So we got two greens. CK says green and, green and purple is a great combo. Although it stands out better on the yellow, go. So we got one, two three goes and two greens so far. Let me see. <laughs> Eunice, Eunice, you, you tied it back up, huh? <laughs> so I thought we we had to, had to go, but it went back. Okay, so we the, the green is ahead right now. The green is up by one. All right, it's tied again. Now, come on, y'all. <laughs> All right, so lime green. What's up, Trees? How you doing? What's up, Carlene? How you doing? KJH, what's up? Um, I use, I'm gonna show you all my printers right quick. I got that Epson F570 right there. I got this Oki MC561 right here. I have, let me, right here I got, that's a Canon, what is it? IX6820 right there. And I'm gonna go over here to this, other side actually this this other printer um look i guess i can show you this one this is my label printer right here it's a josie just a cheap thermal printer right there um and then i got this printer it's just like a one color laser printer that i i actually got to print my labels that i you know that i put on stuff or whatever but i also use it to make copies so that is all the printers that i have here I have printers at home that I use sometimes for different things or I'm working on something at home, but that is all the printers that I have at the shop right there. And let me see. This one is a color laser printer, by the way. All right, love the green, green, contrasting color seem to pop. I would have I would have went with the gold on there. Let me let me count these colors again and try to see. So we have gold. Let me go back up. I'm thinking the green one, because right now I'm only seeing like four goals. One, two. Yeah, the green and purple don't not gonna have anything to do to do with it, I don't think. Let me see. Oh, this is blue. I don't know, it may look purple, but it's like a blue, really. It might look purple on here. I don't know. It's more of like a cadet blue. If you use cray Crayolas, cadet, it's a cadet blue. All right, I'm getting a lot of green, so I guess I'm gonna go with the green. Go with the green. All right, we're gonna go with that green right here. All right, so the printer is ready. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get these items printed. I'm hoping FedEx, FedEx UPS comes on early like they do sometimes. All right, and I got, is this a U? Yeah, that's a U portion right. Just making sure, my bad, y'all can't see what I'm doing. Y'all can't see what I'm doing. 
go ahead and I need to get me a Teflon cover for this thing right here so I can stop having to do it the way that I'm doing it right now. Uh, where is my T-squared at? Oh, it's in the other room because I was using the other heat press the other day. I'm, I'm going to have to get another uh, T-squared because I had that one in, in the other room with, with my stalls heat press because I used it the other day. For something. Let me try to get this in. These legs. Right. Okay. All right. So, we're going to pick this thing up. All right. We're going to go ahead and um get this centered up right here. And I'm going to fold this a little bit to try to uh, find a center marking on the design. All right. And I'm doing this. Uh, well, actually, I guess I could bring it down a little bit because I was doing it a little higher because it's for... My my young nephew. I'm gonna bring it down slightly. Make sure it's straight. All right, we're gonna go ahead and press it. Actually, I'm gonna put it to 15 seconds since I'm using this cover sheet. Let me see what y'all. Uh, What's up, Penny? Penny, how you doing? I say lime green only because that's my color. Hey, I like I like green myself. All right. It is a cold peel, so I'm gonna move it to the side, and then I gotta press it again. I'm moving to the side as I press the next one. All right. So we're gonna go with this green one right here. Because y'all chose the lime green. This one is a little bit wrinkled, so I am going to um, press this and knock some of the wrinkles out. And maybe I didn't press it enough. All right. Get this one centered up real quick. Make sure here that's a large. Get this thing on here straight first, and then maybe it'll be easier for me to line it up. All right. I can't get this thing straight on here. Maybe if I take these glasses off, I can see better since I'm not reading something. Let's move that to the top. I was trying to not have to put this up at the top, but it looks like that's what I need to do. Put it up at the top. Look, y'all, y'all see y'all uh let me see. Nine and a half, about nine and a half. All right. We good on that one. All right, so we got this, and I'm gonna kind of fold it to try to get a center line. Start right there. All right. The other one should be ready to peel, so I'm gonna go ahead and peel it in just a sec. All 
I find it helpful just for the shirt and hand. Uh, yeah, I don't do that. I've been doing it this same way since I started, but I don't, like most of my printing is screen printing. So, you know, like when you do a print like this, you kind of got to get in your, uh, kind of got to get in your uh, groove or whatever. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, and peel this off and let y'all check it out. Bring y'all close. And then I'm gonna uh, press it again for five seconds. So you have to cold peel and that's, that's what it's looking like right there. I'm gonna get a Teflon sheet and place it over it. And we're gonna press one more again for five seconds. All right. And that's what it's looking like right here. Let me hold it up for y'all. So what y'all think? It came out. It came out good. Y'all like it? Y'all like it how it's looking? Hey, all right, hey, it's all right. It's all right. I was thinking it would pop more on that yellow, but hey, this one looks nice too. So that's what that one is looking like. We are gonna go with the next one. Let me see. This one should be cool enough to uh, peel now so that I can press it for the five seconds. So I'm gonna bring y'all close, let y'all check it out. And that's what it's looking like right there. We're gonna take this Teflon sheet. Oh, and um, these this is what the papers are looking like. You know, all, everything is coming off of them. Just so y'all know, and they, can, they can go in the trash now. Then we're gonna press this for five seconds. All right. And that's what it's looking like. Let me hold it up for y'all. That's what it's looking like right there. This one, I, I like this right here. I like how that, um, that came out. Y'all know I like green. Green is my color too. I would have put it on the gold, but it, it came out nice. All right. Now we got this one, one last shirt. Now those shirts, those two shirts were 100% cotton. Those were both 100% cotton shirts. Um, yes, I need that T-square for real. Um, that T-square that I have, the T-square that I have is like a... Uh, it's the original T squared. Like when I first started printing, um, I actually broke this end off of it. And I actually had glued it back on a while back and broke it off again. But this is the end of it right here. It would go right here so that you put this on the back of your heat press. Like, um, let me show you. Like the new ones, I don't know why they changed, changed it so much, but this part right here, it would like go right on the back of your heat press, like right here. So it would, it, it just was easier to line up like that. But I just never did try to put that thing back on there because I was always dropping it and it eventually broke after a while. Somebody should take this, uh, this the way that this thing is made and make a new one, make something and call it something else. I don't know if they got it patented or whatever, but somebody, people that do stuff like that, y'all do that and I buy it. I'll be, I'll be the first to buy it. Um, Dr. Flake says that looks good. The transfers are from Big Boy Printing. He's You can uh, find Big Boy Printing on Instagram. If you go to Instagram, Big Boy Printing, he's got a channel on here. I will be on Big Boy Printing. Um, he got a show that he do on Fridays. Well, I think it's on Fridays and Saturdays. But I will be on his show next Friday on the first of the month. So it starts at 9 o'clock. So I would appreciate if all of y'all, all 80 of y'all, come over there and support me. And I appreciate if all eight of y'all hit the thumbs up button and show your girl some support. But um, but yeah, I will be over there. Let me see, I got this one last one. Jocelyn says, that's my favorite color too. I wish, it, hey, I'm with you Jocelyn. I, I, you know, I, I, I ain't no LeBron person either. What's up, Liam? How you doing? What's up, Z? Z, where you, where you been hiding out at? You been hiding out. 
Um, author says, I find the help. Okay, I read that already. Yeah, I've been doing it this way all my life. What is sin going? Oh, yeah, I'm just printing some BTF transfers. This is a continuation of a video. I was like super busy and, um, you know, wasn't able to do it last week. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get this last shirt up here. Now, this shirt right here, it's not a, let me see what the percentage of, it is a next level shirt, and it is 20% cotton, 25% rayon. So this one is going to be a little different than the other one. So right here, when I'm looking at these, at these, at this temperature right here, it says that transfers must be pressed at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 to 15 seconds and cold peel for cotton garments. Polyester garments must be pressed at 270 for 10 to 12 seconds and cold peel. A repress can be applied with Teflon sheet or parchment paper. All right, so I'm gonna, um, let me see. Let me check this stuff. Cause it is 20% cotton or 25 cotton, 25 rayon and 50% polyester. So maybe I should go with the polyester, uh, my bad. Maybe I should go with the polyester um, settings. What y'all think? Anybody use these since it's 50% polyester? Maybe I should go with the polyester settings and move it down to 270. What's up, Stephanie? How you doing? You seem like a wonderful person. Thank you for all the information you provide and tips. I appreciate you watching. I, I be trying. I be trying. I know when I started, um really screen printing it wasn't a lot of uh like it was videos out there but most of them was old because it wasn't really nobody that was consistently putting out videos that's why i started because i was like you know what i needed a lot of help so maybe i can um try to help people the way that i needed help but i'm gonna go ahead and uh move y'all over here and i'm gonna change this temperature up i'm gonna put it on since it's I'm going to put it on two, 280 for 12 seconds, I guess. Something like that. I'm, I'm going to try 280 for 12 seconds. And, and hopefully, I just heard a door close. I was checking to see if anybody was out there. But. I thought it, okay, there it was. It took it a minute before I started doing 10, 10 increments of 10. All right. I'm going to put it on 280, and we're going to go 12 seconds. So I got to let it cool off a little bit before I can get started. So I'm kind of just, um because it's got some other stuff in there, I do say 270. This is gone. Tripod. I'm, I like it to be, I like for the tripod to be real high so I don't have it like all the way as wide as it'll go and sometimes it mess up. Yes, do do that to, to poly settings. Yes, these are samples. These are samples. Um, I probably am going to order some more um, because it's it's something that, that I got that I'm going to be doing. Um, but doing for my son so i'm probably gonna order some more so that i can like um yeah i don't know if y'all know my youngest son we call it money baskets so he got i had made him a logo some years ago for his youtube channel and he do a lot of TikTok stuff so i'm gonna um probably order him some to do him some merch because his is like a multi-color design and i had did it on a polyester shirt for him i'm just letting the press cool off a little bit and then we're gonna press this other one but yeah so i'm probably gonna order a few so that i can um you know start doing him some merch what's up is that oh moabite what's up moabite how you doing what's good i bought a dtg that print on poly and dtf have not tried the dtf yet when i do it's on a I think that's the, the thing a lot of people are doing or looking to do nowadays. What's up, Tom? How you doing? What's up, Strength? Strength from within, how you doing? 
Let me see. It's on 316 and it's got to, got to get to 280. So it's just going to take a little bit before I get there. Let me see. I guess I could go ahead and center this shirt while I, you know, while I do that. And then while I'm still waiting on it to heat up, I, I mean, cool off, I can, um, you know, chat with y'all. Like some of these shirts, y'all, and like hoodies don't be that that even, especially hoodies. Like, you know, if you're trying to line it up using the pocket, it's usually gonna be off. And like when they doing like these sleeves and stuff right here, sometimes they don't be just perfect. So let me try to make sure got it on here good and get it as close to center as you can. You know, we we being t-shirt printers, we know this stuff, but usually if it's a little bit off, your customer will not notice it. So, you know, just try to get it as centered as close as you can. But I do like for my prints to be in the same place. So that's why I try to, you know, use a, a way that is consistent. That's why I have always used this T squared to um, line up my shirts. Cause sometimes when you just like using your hands and stuff like that, sometimes you might have your fingers more open or you might have it real tight one time you might have, you know, and that just kind of gets a little off. So I just like to be as consistent as I can in this shirt. Let me see. And this shirt saying like it's long on one. So let me check this out. It is I don't really print a lot of these shirts. I really don't um, buy like the next level shirts and stuff like that. I don't really like the side seam on the shirts. I, I don't like that. But um, this was one that was left over because I order a couple of extras usually. So when I did this order a few months back, this was left over, so that's why I'm using it today. Sometimes I, I, have, I have them on display in the store, and sometimes I have customers that come in and want something printed with that. But I'm just printing this one for a shirt that I'm going to get to my mom, just so I can be printing these um, transfers. All right. This shirt just is weird or something to me. Make sure this lined up with this tag. That's about the best I can do on it. Let me see. Okay. This shirt is like, I don't know. It's hard to line up. I'm bringing it over here so y'all can see what I'm what I'm working with. Alright, so the center should be right here where this tag is at. It should be right here. So I'm bringing it down right here. But y'all see what it's looking like right there. That, that should be centered, but the six is right here and the 10 is right here. So it's, it's a, little bit, a little bit weird. It's a little bit weird. Let me try to make sure. All right. Maybe that is more flat or whatever we're gonna try it and see all right that may be a little better we just gonna go with this we just gonna go with it like that and see what happens still waiting on the heat press to um 
cool off though. Let me see. Just trying to um, find the center spot. Hopefully that's centered enough. But that's what we're going with. Hopefully that's centered enough. Waiting on the uh, heat press now to cool off. Let me see what y'all talking about. What printer do you have? Um, Texas Finest, you y'all y'all don't be paying me no attention. Y'all just be like looking at my videos, I believe. <laughs> And y'all have it on mute. Um, I don't have a DTF printer. These are samples from Big Boy. Big Boy Prints. I did In the last video, I was talking about that. I, I don't have a DTF printer. What's up, Sigretta? How you doing? Thank you, Jewel. DTF printers from Big Boy. Um, I do not have a DTF printer. Let me see. Yeah, see, before if, if I have a DTF printer, I'll have to first do the DTF printer unboxing video for y'all. But um, this is just the transfers. And I, I started doing this video, but I didn't get to um, finish it. It's 289, so we got about nine more um, degrees. What's up, Graphic Warehouse? How you doing? Let me see. Um, I can pull up the, let me see. Let me find DT, uh, Big Boy Prince sales. He sells, uh, I mean, it ain't no reason for me to lie. Believe what you want to believe, Texas Finest. Whatever you want to believe, Texas Finest. You, you good. Um, What's up, Chris? I, I don't have to prove nothing to nobody on this channel. If y'all don't believe what I say, you, you know, you don't have to watch or you can you can do what you want to do. I, I'm i not going to lie on Big Boy Prince. If he's uh, if he's the person that contacted me and that's how I got the transfer, that's all I can say. Um, what's up, Chris? How you doing? All right. I know that area. I went to Ole Miss. Okay, it's 286. We got about six degrees. Texas Finest, I just read that you said that. I just read that you said that. So, I mean, I don't know what you're trying to do on here. I just put you in time out. And um, I, I don't have no reason to lie. I'm going to be on with Big Boy Friday. Come on that live stream and ask him if he, if, where I got these transfers from on Friday. Come on there Friday. The, don't worry about explaining the jewel people you know people just uh i don't even know why sometimes you know it's all kind of demons out there and when people let the demons get in them and then they start harassing people that ain't doing them trying to help folks and just showing people stuff like i ain't if y'all go back to all my videos i say the same like you know i ain't got no uh reason to lie about nothing in my life um, just tune in. What are you using? These are DTF transfers. I don't want to lift it up right now because it's, I just got lined up and I had a hard time getting lined up on this shirt because it's, it's a weird shirt. But um, strength says DTG from Big Boy Prince. Yep, I got the uh, Instagram. I just talked to Big Boy yesterday on the phone, but I got the uh, Instagram post to prove it. But I, I don't have to prove nothing to nobody. Appreciate that, uh, more bite. Thank you. <laughs> Thank y'all to the people that's, that keep telling them where, where I got the DTF transfers. Appreciate that. If a person sell DTF printers, they can print them if they want to. You know, it's uh like, what's the name of it? I don't even know. Like companies that sell product, like styles. I don't know if they sell, if they sell printed t-shirts. If they just print the shirts and um, send them to you, they might, but uh, they don't have to, you know. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and press this last shirt right here. 
And if pe people that's been watching my videos, they they know how I've been saying that I don't really, you know, I ain't really wasn't really into the DTF transfer. You know, I didn't really have a reason to do the D DTF transfers. So I gotta let this cool off. And then I can peel it and then we're gonna do a last press on it. But um, yeah, so I mean, I don't I don't have no reason to just make stuff up. I be trying to be honest. Cause I don't be worried about what people say. Hey, I don't even know more about it. I don't even know. <laughs> I hope they do well though. I you know, I haven't really kept up as much. I really haven't uh kept up with old miss as much since I use use back home. Move back home. Like when you would use DTF instead of screen printing, uh, Tom says, let me see. Overall, you can speak about when you would use DTF instead of screen print. Um, if, like if you have a DTF printer, um, I feel like when people come here and they want like photos and stuff like that, or they want a photo with words, you could do DTF for that. Um, like with screen printing, it's mostly for like I don't do, you can actually print a full color photograph with screen printing, with process printing, but I don't do process printing right now. So something like the DTF printing would be good for something like that. If you, you know, if people want it like full color images, but like right now, what I use is transfers. Like, um, you, I, you, if I, if they want to, I want I forgot to put the trash out, but I didn't have much trash though. But, um, if I use like, uh, like so if they want a white shirt i can do sublimated transfers because i have a sublimation printer if they want like want it on a colored shirt i can do um i can do it on my inkjet printer or my laser printer all right i think it's cooled off enough so we're gonna peel it all right so that temp that temp was pretty good Ooh, you can't even feel it really on this shirt Seem like it went more into this shirt to me. Or maybe it's the design because it's a thinner design. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, press it for the five seconds. Let me see. All right. And this is what that thing stuck to. This is what it's looking like. And you see, well, it was a different color. Y'all see like right here, how it's a different color because it's hot. That'll go back to the regular color once it cools off. I've had some questions about that. So that is what it's looking like. So I'm going to go back through and show y'all everything that I printed today. This is a 50% polyester, 25% rayon and 25 percent cotton mix so what i did i pressed it on 280 for 12 seconds and then i did the five second uh repress at the end thanks paul paula i'm sorry thanks paula um i have never used the tussie heat press um i i think that if if you can afford a Tussie heat press and you're just starting out, get whatever you can afford. And then when you start, cause, cause I didn't like, I start, when I started out, I got the best stuff that I could afford, but I got it one at a time. And then like when I needed to screen print, I found the cheapest way to screen print because I had never screen printed. And I didn't know if I would like screen printing or if I would be able to do it because the videos made it look hard and stuff like that. What's up, John, how you doing? So because the videos made it look hard, and I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. I bought a hundred and fifty dollar screen printing setup, and if you go look at the the on my channel, the video that's on there, it's um, it's a video on there that says how how I started my t-shirt business. I gotta do a a decal today. Well, I gotta I'm going to cut them out today because I gotta excuse me, I gotta put them on the truck either Friday or Saturday because the guy is supposed to be picking the truck up today, but um. But yeah, um, whatever you can, you know, whatever uh, you can get, then go ahead and, you know, do that. 
um, Stren says, oh, didn't know you can convert a printer to DTL. Yeah, you can, um, you can convert printers. Like people come, people be so smart. They come up with all kind of things. Like people converted Epson's to, uh, DTG printers. Like back in the day, I saw some of those videos. Well, people be smart and they be figuring it out. What's up, Vincent from New York? I appreciate it. I, I appreciate you watching all the way from New York City. Or maybe not, I said New York, Detroit. <laughs> Look, I just made you from New York, huh, Vincent? All the way from Detroit. Appreciate you watching. Um, Tom says, like when, oh, I just read that earlier. Um... Appreciate that Queen City. Yeah, I just be trying to come on here and help people that want the help. You know, you can't help everybody. Thanks, uh, Monroe. That the heat press I was using, that is the Hicks Swing Man. It's a 16 by 20 press. I actually got three different like 16 by 20 heat presses. The one over there is actually my favorite one, the HPN press. Like the way that I have my presses set up, this one is for vinyl. But because I was doing the DTF and it's similar settings to the vinyl, I use that one. But this one, I keep on 400 degrees because I, I do nothing but sublimation on here. Um, I got the Styles heat press in the other room. Um, well, you can't really see it, but it's on that table. It's on that, uh, I can't even point to it. It's on that table like right there. The little, you see that little wooden table? Or not even the wooden table. Let me just go show you. <laughs> but it's in here. It's right, right there. But I mostly use that one for uh, like if it's something that I want to thread through here. Like I was um, I was printing onto something that I screen printed, which I don't always do this, but um, I wanted it to look screen printed, so I threaded it through here so that it wouldn't um. You know, so they wouldn't make the screen print flat on there. But what I mostly use this one for is like when I'm printing like something that's small and I switch it out to this right here. But um, but yeah, I do use all of the heat presses and um, that's, you know, that's how I do it. I just kind of have different ones for different things. And that way I don't have to like keep changing the temperatures and stuff on it. And like the styles one, it do have like where it save in the stuff, but let me go ahead and show y'all this. And this uh, this transfer on this shirt, I can't really feel the hand on it, y'all. I cannot really, like it don't have a hand on it. And maybe it's because like, it really feels just exactly like the shirt. Like if I'm looking away, I can't tell when I'm feeling the shirt or when I'm feeling the print. You cannot feel it. Maybe it's the material or whatever, but this one, it's like you don't really, um. <laughs> Tom says which one you hate um I don't hate neither one of them I don't hate neither one of them uh but my favorite one is is this one right here and I don't do a whole lot of vinyl prints y'all I don't do that much vinyl printing so um the swing man don't get used as much and the the styles don't get used as much like this one is is the one that I'm mostly using the heat press nation one and it's the auto open. It's it got the drawer on it, so you can slide it out. And it also auto opens, so you know when you when you multitasking, you can walk away from it, and you don't have to worry about um, like over pressing. Whatever you're pressing, it's gonna pop up when it's time. But I I don't really I don't I don't I don't know I don't think I've had one that I hate. See, I started out with cheap stuff. Like the first heat press I had, it didn't even have a timer on it. And the, I had to like turn the pressure and I had to figure out what the pressure was, which, you know, these two are like that. But this one tells you what the pressure is. The stalls one tells you what the pressure is once you said it. But like with that, with the HPN one, it don't tell you what the pressure is. So you have, you would have to figure, figure it out. But, um, thank you. Uh, let me see. It's a, it is a. Let me see if you can see it on here. I don't know. I might have to take it off. Can, can you see it? Can you see what it says? It's like an older shirt. I don't know. 
what what brand it is. It's just like a, one of my workout shirts. Because uh, your girl getting back to working out. Yeah, Charlene, you can get that one from Heat Press Nation. If you get it from Heat Press Nation, use your girl's uh, link. Do you recommend getting a fire extinguisher? Um, Yeah, I think you can always use a fire extinguisher. Um, I think you should have a fire extinguisher if you, you know, if you can. Um, I don't know. And then also, you do want to make sure that if you're having any issues with your equipment, that you get it checked out. Because uh, usually, when stuff like that happens, you might notice, like, um, some type of issue as far as, like, different temperature or whatever. But you can't never be too safe. So, I would say, yeah, go ahead and get you a fire extinguisher. Um friend says i was thinking the same thing yeah it's um i don't know what brand it is i don't know. look let me get off camera and i might can um try to read it or if y'all could read it i don't know let me give me a second i'm gonna see if i can see what brand it is for y'all but i've been had it a long time ago i'm look i'm taking the shirt off so i can um see what brand it is it is an augusta right here let me see if y'all can see it's an augusta that's what it is. Let me put it back on. I do have a, another shirt on, y'all, but it's like a like a tank top. So I'm not standing back here undressed or nothing. I just don't want to um, jump on there on camera in my tank top because I don't have no muscles yet. I got I ain't been I haven't been back working out that long. Should you always cover up the heat press plan before? Um, if you're using screen printing transfers, they recommend that you do not. But sometimes if, uh, you know, depending on what you're printing, I like to protect the platen when I'm printing. So, you know, I'm, I always, I always uh, cover it up. But I'm going to show y'all all these shirts just for the people that, that came on late right here. This one, on this shirt, you really cannot feel the hand. Like, when you look away, it, it's it's hard to feel the hand of this shirt. I mean, the hand of the print. So that's what that one is looking like. And these were printed with DTF transfers, y'all. This is a 50% polyester, 25 cotton, 25 rayon shirt right here. Um, next level. Then I got the, this is a Gildan 5000 right here. Printed with a DTF transfer. That's what it's looking like right there. All right, then we got the LeBron James one, y'all. The LeBron one did come out a lot nicer than I thought, y'all. I would have went with the gold if I wouldn't have listened to y'all, but it came out nice. It came out nice. So that's the LeBron James one right there. So that's the three that I printed. Uh, some of the other designs I may print later. <laughs> hey. Brad say I do have muscles. That yeah, I got muscles. You know, if you look inside my my skin, is it normal to have a cord get warm on a flash dryer? Um, I like if it's a cheaper flash dryer, it might. But you do want to keep watch on that. But that I don't think that's really good for something like that to happen. But um, if it's a cheaper one, it might. I've had like a, the oven cord one and stuff like that. So sometimes. You know, you just have to keep watch on stuff like that and, and keep you a fire extinguisher. Do you have a license to print the LeBron shirt? I don't know, David. Maybe you should come here and um, check all my paperwork and see. Um, come here and um, check check my paperwork and see, and then you can see if I have one. Um, all right, Jesse, thank you for joining. I think it, it's like a lot of... It's just so many salty, hating people in the world, y'all. Like, it's real. It's getting real close to the end, I believe. I really do. It's just, I mean, I don't know. It's crazy. If if you watch the, I ain't gonna even talk. I'm, I'm gonna stop explaining myself to people that don't deserve explanation. All right. Um... Let me see. What's up? Um, <laughs> is that Devil Rider? What's up? What's up, Louisa? I'm good. How long have you been using DTF? 
And where did you get the printer from? I do not have a DTF printer. These are sample transfers that somebody sent to me. Um, big boy, big boy sent me a um sent me some transfers. Even though somebody else came on here and was like, big boy, don't print. Hey, believe what you want to believe. <laughs> Let me see. Let me go back up. I'm trying to see what I missed. Um, let me see. I'm just going back up trying to see how long have I been selling t-shirts. You make it look simple, easy. Hey, like if you're just pressing like this, it is easy. Like if all you're doing is pressing the shirts, you know, um, you got transfers and stuff like that, and they and they work correctly. Like these, I haven't had any issues with it. I did do a video printing some sample. Uh, I did do some videos printing some sample. Uh, what do you call them? Screen printed transfers. And with the screen printed transfers, I had issues. I followed their instructions exactly to the T, but I still had issues. And a lot of people was coming on here telling me, well, when I use those transfers. I do this and I do that, but I'm following their instructions. So with these transfers, when we following the instructions, I haven't had any issues with it. So, you know, that's the, uh, that's the thing with that. Um, but if, uh, the thing with transfers, if you're waiting for the transfer, you know, you gotta, sometimes if you got an order that somebody need quickly, depending on how long it takes you to get the transfers, but I got these transfers pretty quick. Um, when, when he told me, he, he messaged me on Instagram was like, Hey, I sent the transfers and I got them like a, a day or so later once he sent them. So it did not take long at all. Maybe two days, something like that, a day or two later. Let me see. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss nobody and I'm waiting for UPS. I can be checking the camera over there to see if they are outside. Um, Dr. Flake says, man, I need to get in into the time. I started doing vinyl, then screen printing, just got the sublimation thing. Hey, you know what? Um, it's nothing wrong with doing that. Like screen printing is for when you're doing big orders, when you're doing a lot of shirts. Um, the vinyl is for you when, when you're not doing as many shirts. So I still do vinyl a, a little bit. I try to encourage people to get the sublimation because it's less work, you know, and, um, and the prints, like when they see those sublimation prints, they really like them and like how it looks. But, um, you know, tease that please says, hey, Sam, I appreciate all your hard work educating us. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Let me see. I'm just trying to go back up so I can make sure I didn't miss anything because I was kind of doing some other things. At the same time, uh, all right, I think I got them. If I didn't get you and you're at the top of the next comment that I read, if you copy and paste it, I'll answer, I'll answer it. Tease that please says people just need to appreciate the lesson or leave. I appreciate that. Yeah. Cause I, I don't, I don't be understanding. Le Prince says, you keep doing you. We appreciate you. I appreciate that, Le Prince shop. Appreciate that. What's up, Harold Benson? How you doing? Tom Brooks says, are you Christian? Yes, I am. Like, a, a serious Christian. Like, I, I go uh, strictly by the, by the Bible. I don't even date. That's just how hard I go. <laughs> Veronica says, I found a T-square. Oh, they have one at Harbor Freight? Or are you talking about the different the different T-square? They have like the T-shirt T-squares at Harbor Freight? John says, isn't it considered even more of a fire hazard to use an extension cord? Now, my um my heat presses, the, the regular heat presses, they plug into the wall. My big heat press, it's wired in. It's like hard wired in. My conveyor dryer and my flash dryer, both of those are hardwired in and they have their own um, breaker breakers or whatever. So yeah, 
What's up, Rye? Thank you, Faith Nine. I appreciate that. Young says, hey, I hey, I finally got the T-squared logo gritted from Heat Prison. Hey, I'm telling you, that way you can, like, once you get in your groove, you can do it so quick, with, especially with doing the pocket logos because that's, you know, that uh, logo it is so small. You can just, like, put it where it's supposed to be and find your um, marking that you're printing by on there and bang them out real quick. Tom says, my incision course get, gets warm because it's not a small enough gauge. Yeah, like with that stuff, you know, that since y'all know, just kind of um, pay attention to it. Um, Mary says, where to get your transfers? Um, Big Boy Print had these sent to me. Uh, him and these T's and things work together. So um, either him or these T's and things sent them to me. But um, they came through Big Boy Prints here on YouTube and Instagram. Let me see. Alicia says, I see Big Boy Etsy store, but no website. How do you order? Um, you can you can contact him on Instagram. Like he his thing, he's mostly trying to do the sales, like sales of the printers. But like, you know, he's the one that talked to me about it. And he was the one that sent me, you know, sent me the the um transfers, but he he probably got other people printing for him. Cause I'm telling you, Big Boy is on another level. He's on another level. That's kind of like uh, what's the name of it? Custom Ink. Custom Ink don't actually print their shirt. They got people that print shirts. I remember getting an email a while back about them. This been some years ago where they was looking for people in different areas to print. Appreciate that, Faith Nine. Thank you for the super chat. Tom says, that's a real woman right there. I can tell you are. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate that. Derek says, I've been following you for a long time and didn't realize that I met you before. Where are you from, Derek? Where you meet me at? Was it one of the shows or you know me like from where I'm at? Let me see. All right, but if y'all got any more questions comments whatever let me know i don't know where the ups man is at usually he he got me spa coming early and then now he he coming later but um I, for anybody that came late I, i'm gonna show these shirts one more time but i'm gonna get ready to get off of here in a couple of minutes and um i need to check my phone because i'm waiting for some approvals bag but right here these are dtf prints right here this is a shirt this is a next level i don't know the exact number of it but it is 50 50 percent polyester 25 cotton and 25 rayon but this is the print let me close up on it for y'all and with this thinner print right here you really can't feel the hand you can't tell the difference like if i'm looking away i don't know if i'm touching the shirt i know i'm touching the the print because i'm looking at it but it feels the same as the shirt when it's thinner like this and i don't know if it's just this material or what but okay so then i got this one right here the spaceman set up right here and you can see like you can y'all see those little dots that show the detail like those dots are small like the splatters or whatever it's pretty small on there so that's a lot of detail right there and then you got the lebron shirt y'all know your girl is not a lebron person but i printed this one for my nephew and it, it actually came out really nice i like how it looks on here and you can see the detail like close up full color photo right there and the letters kind of got um got some half tones in it i don't know if y'all can see it on the video i don't know if y'all can see on there but it's got some half tones on the letters yeah Is DTF printer the same as so? No, they are two different things. Um, the DTF printer, you actually printing it, printing it onto a film, and it's like it's kind of 
it's kind of like uh, DTG, and I, I don't know, I'm just gonna say it's a cross between DTG and white toner print or something to that effect. But um, the sublimation is just the ink coming off and getting onto your shirt. Like um, you can't feel a hand or nothing with the sublimation. It's just like, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. Are they mowing over here? But it's basically just the ink is coming off, you know, coming off, getting onto the shirt. Like with this, it's toner, or I don't even know if it, it's not really toner, but it's like the, the ink and the white underbase is getting onto the shirts right here. But it, that ink, you know, it does have a slight hand to it. All right, Tom, appreciate you. What are some of your pros and cons for sublimation printing? Um, The con is that it prints on white. Um, pros is that it's a lot easier. You don't have to weed or anything. The prints come out like so bright. And I feel like that's like, um, the prints come out really good, like photo quality prints. Um, let me see, I can show you some, uh, let me see, I'm gonna bring this stuff in here with me. But like with the sublimation printing, like this, uh, the shirt up here, the green shirt. Let me bring bring it so I can get a close-up on it. But this shirt right here, that's photo quality right there. That's my son. This, this was a picture from when he was smaller. And this is a picture that was like his basketball pictures. But you see how bright and stuff that is? That's like photo quality print. Over here, this is a inkjet transfer right there. So my bad let me see if you're looking at that you know it, it's it's nice but if you compare it to that i think the sublimation is brighter but this is uh what is it it's the nina papers right here the nina jet opaque papers that's like some pretty good paper right here actually i don't know if y'all can even see that i made a mistake on here like right here it tore i accidentally tore it when i was weeding it that's why this one is on display, but you can't really tell if you just looking far back. And this right here, this is screen printing right here. That's screen printed. Let me see. Right there. So screen printed, sublimation. And this was actually my first all over sublimation print right here, y'all. Like this was at the old shop. This was the only design that I printed at the old shop with the sublimation printer, or the big sublimation printer. I did print some other ones, but this was my first all over sublimation. And this is how I used to do shirts when I first started, but this will eventually wash out. Like when I first started, I didn't really know any better. I just used to come to a cut everything, you know, and that's how, that's how it was. Let me see, I can show y'all some, some other shirts that I did. Um, actually this shirt right here, this was my first print that wasn't like two colors. This was the, sh the first shirt that I printed of that many colors. That was like when I first got the, uh, the Vast Express. So it's not perfect, but you know, that was my first one. And this right here, this was... This is one of the, like y'all see right here where it didn't come out that good, but this was an all over print where I printed the back and the front. Let me see if I can turn my mannequin around. But right here, uh, my son, went, when I printed this shirt, he had his cast. So it kind, it, it kind of got a little fuzzy over there. He had broke his thumb, but that's what, that's what that's looking like right there and then you got the back side right here so yeah that's all over sublimation printing right there um i don't know colorado queen that was kind of that was kind of out on the jury but if i do my bad i was fixing my making back i didn't realize i was off if i do get one i will um i will let y'all know what size is the printer for all over sublimation printing um, the one I use is the, it's a 24 inch printer. But um, you can, the bigger printer, the better. Thank you, Rhonda, appreciate that. 
Thank you, Faith. Faith Nine. How do you handle custom unique colors for screen printing? Do you have a mixing system? Um, I have only had one person that asked me for custom colors, but um, this this uh pizza company right here, they own. They they wanted a certain red and a certain green, but I just happened to um have the right colors already in stock. So what I did was because they don't they didn't even know the Pantone colors for their colors, but they wanted it to be that exact color. And what I did was I just um printed something with the red and the green to show them what it what it would look like. And if I would have had to do something else, I would have had to order out. I have mixed colors before i have a video where i mix my own ink but i do not have a pantone mixing system so what i did i have like some vinyl swatches that that you can get from any any vinyl company i got i have one from styles i have i have a few different ones from different um vinyl brands or whatever and i just use that kind of like if you had those cards from walmart or you know the stores where you buy paint and you can match the paint or choose which paint you want. That's kind of how I did it. And I just um, I just mixed it up myself and it came out good. Thank you, Paula D, appreciate that. Thank you, Rhonda. What size is the paper for all over sublimation print? Um, it depends on what, like, for, I could use a bigger printer. I could use a bigger sublimation printer. I don't do like, usually when people want sublimation prints, I have not done more than about 12, maybe 15 shirts. I'm trying to think. I had an order of like 12, 15 shirts. Usually I people might order one or two of them because they are they are kind of pricey compared to the regular printing. So sometimes when you tell people the price, they don't get all of the shirts like that. They'll be like, okay, I want my shirt like this. But everybody else, you know, they don't want to pay that price. So, you know. So um, that's how it is with that. What's up, it's my time. I appreciate that, appreciate it. Yeah, I be trying, I be trying. Tom says, very impressed with the DTF shirt. Can't wait to get into it myself. What, uh, is DTF print, okay. No, DTF and sublimation, they, they are two different things. Moabite says, all right, Sin, may you have a beautiful day. What's left of it to the haters? Go print something. <laughs> you silly. What's up, CK? CK says, feels embedded. Derek says, you you play ball with my sister at Ole Miss. Stephanie is my sister, Stephanie. I'm trying to remember a Stephanie. What was her last name, Derek? I'm trying to remember. A st oh, Stephanie Murphy. Oh, okay. Yes. How is she? How is she doing? How is she doing, Derek? <laughs> Tell her I said, what's up? I have not heard from her in, in years. I haven't heard from her in years. Um, she, she was on Facebook, but somebody hijacked my page on Facebook and I haven't been able to get back in there. But, um, yeah, this is me, Sin. <laughs> I I did play with your sister. She, she look, um, there. I have told several people this. I have told several people this. Like, um, your sister. When we went to college, your sister was a Christian, and like at that time, like when I was when I was in high school, I didn't believe in God. Like your sister is the one who uh, got me to having a relationship with God, like for real. Like I have told the people on here several times about it. His sister, this guy, Derek, Derek Murphy, he, I was roommates with his sister my freshman year. And, and that's crazy. Yeah, but, um, and I never told her that either. I never told her that she probably was like, uh, no matter what I do, Sin is still gonna be wild and out there doing whatever she's doing. But um, yeah, but she um, that was like a big influence on me that she probably don't even realize. What's up, Grace? Bought a sub. 
you um okay white lettering um the dtg or a white toner printer are the only printers that can print white grace um the sublimation printers cannot print white i mean you can outline it if they'll accept that that could be you know that could be something that you could do with it and the um sublimation printers can't print on nothing but the white but the white shirts though so you know that you know that's the only way i know to do it i mean unless you want to mix like more than one um type of printing together and do the letters in vinyl i mean that's up to you but um white toner printers um dtg or dtg well dtg dtf that's really the only ways that i know screen printed transfers stuff like that brad says what sin um what's up i do custom how you doing peace love positive energy appreciate that appreciate that we, hey, we needed you on here earlier marla we needed you on here earlier yeah but i'm gonna get ready to get off of here y'all i appreciate y'all jumping on here with me i wasn't planning on being on here this long but i don't know i can't really do nothing until ups come because i'm waiting so i can print so i can print an order and they got all my shirts on their truck riding around wherever they at. I guess I could do this decal while I'm waiting on Um, Let me see. I guess I could keep y'all on here while I do this decal since I can't really, uh, you know, can't really print until... What do you think of HP and vinyl cutter should... I just save and get um now they do have uh HPN got some different vinyl cutters. They actually have uh they actually have some what do you call them? I'm trying to think of it's it's the other brand. Uh I can't graph tech. They actually have some graph tech cutters. Hey, I don't even know that it's a it's a company. It's a company that my landlord um have to cut the grass. Let me check my phone right quick, y'all. Cause I had uh they still have a message back. I sent some designs out and I'm waiting for approval so I can so I can print shirts. It's a small order. It's it's gonna be um some vinyl shirts that I have to do. Just a few, a few vinyl shirts. So but I got a um order of like I think it's like 37 shirts i believe some somewhere else in there i'll be ordering extra shirts but um a order of about 37 shirts to do today um but i don't really know a lot about their vinyl cutter um now they do sell the graph tech cutters on there they do sell the uh um what do you call them i don't i don't even know i could look on here and see they they have got those new white toner printers those uh seeing who got cut it oh never mind i just read it thank you four corners appreciate it yeah i was thinking about um going live this afternoon since i missed monday because my son had that game because i got an awesome topic to talk about um y'all think i should go live today or y'all think i should wait till monday and do it do it on monday and see that game on Monday was a makeup game. Five thirty-six. Diane says, "I love my white toner printer." Yeah, so I gotta go get this hard drive. Have you ever lost customs because you had to close unexpectedly? Um, you know what? Last in two thousand nineteen, I was sick. I was sick, and I have lost money from that. I was in the hospital. And somebody called me and was like, "Hey!" And it was it was a, a possible big order because some some a person had passed, and it was for some RP shirts. And usually, when you do like the RP shirts, it's a lot. But I was in the hospital, and I was unable to do it. So yes, I have. Um, usually, unless I'm like feeling really really bad. I work when I'm not feeling good. Like if it's something that I feel like, you know, like by the symptoms, if I feel like it's something that could be contagious or something like that, I wouldn't work. 
because I wouldn't want to be like, you know, spreading, spreading nothing or whatever. But like, I just had a sinus infection, a bad sinus infection, and I still work. I didn't take no days off. Um, yeah, they won. They are actually undefeated so far, Brad. They were supposed to have a game today, but it got canceled. Um, and the team that they're supposed to be playing is supposed to have a kid that can dunk. Supposedly. I don't know. Um, you didn't miss that much, Marla. I was talking to you earlier, but I don't know if you was on here when I was talking to you. I got to, um, I'm going to go ahead and, um, let me see, cut these, this decal out. I got to get this this um, other black vinyl because I'm sure I don't have enough. What's up, Jose? How you doing? But yeah, I have, and I, I do take off when I feel like I need to take off or if I want to do something with the kids. But, um, you know, the way that that is, I'm always here. And if they came on that one day and, and I can't, um, and I'm not here or whatever for whatever reason, then you know it's it's kind of just a loss because I'm I'm here every day. I'm here early before my hours before I'm open. I'm usually here early, so um, I don't I don't worry too much about it. But sometimes I do have to like leave and go get my son from school. Um, I just I finished the DTF transfers already. Maybe I should go on and end this since I'm uh, doing that. But I was since people were still talking and stuff, I was just staying on here. But um. I do have, uh, let me see. I do have some decals to do. It's just two decals for an 18 wheeler. And y'all, I was, um, I don't know, hopefully it'll be all right. I was using this thing and I was using like some really thin vinyl and it was like sliding around. So let me go ahead and actually, it's going to be fine. So I actually put like some sticky, stickiness on my rollers to make it, make it where it wouldn't, you know, it would hold on to it. Hey. You hey Derek, are you on uh are you on Instagram or I can give give you my email. I can give you my email, Derek, or something like that. And then I can um get send her my phone number through through email. Um if you are ready, let me see. I'm I'm gonna go on a computer and go on this live stream and I type my email in on here and then I can um let me see. Trying to find. Okay. Let me go to my channel real quick so I can open this up and then I'll type my email on here. All right, I just put my email right there. That's my email, and if she emailed me, I can uh, I send her my phone number. Yeah, cause I have not uh, spoke to her in a minute. I talked to Tasha a while back, but I don't know what happened to her. I I used to talk to her, you know. I was like, we we all need to be keeping in touch and stuff, but um, I don't know. Maybe she didn't want to keep in touch with me or something. I don't know. What's up, Be Belize girl? How you doing? Let me see. Do 
Derek, you do t-shirts? You you had you got a t-shirt business or you start getting started doing t-shirts? I gotta find this um, design real quick. Yeah, I'm a, I'm waiting on UPS. I don't know. I don't know where they at today. They they be getting me spoiled or bringing me my packages early. Then he late today. What happened to the twin? Hey, I don't know. I don't know what happened to them. I just um. John, no, John. My UP, my new UPS driver is good. <laughs> Look, I have had a lot of issues with UPS too, but the new guy, he he's real good. Um, I don't know what happened to him. You know what? I tried calling so deep. I tried calling so deep, and um, she did not answer or or uh, contact me back. So you know. I don't know. I don't try to like force myself on people, but I was kind of worried about her. But she, I do see that she be posting on Instagram. So, you know, she just may not be wanting to talk or something. So I don't know. Yeah, she do a lot of stuff on Instagram, but she haven't been posting her videos on here like she used to do. Um, I did try calling her and um, didn't get an answer. And I messaged her, letting her know that, I, hey, you know, I'm just checking on you. But, you know, sometimes people don't feel like talking. And when they do feel like talking, they, they might reach back out to you. What's up, what's up, Future Saint? May, how you doing? Or V, I'm sorry, how you doing, V? Um, I've learned I've learned a lot from your screen printing videos. Just wanted to say thank you. I appreciate you watching, and I'm glad that I was able to help. Brad says I was worried about her too. They must be the people putting those lawnmowers back on there. Yeah, I was um trying to check on her, but um I don't know. Yeah, I had talked to school a while back. I had checked in on her. Sam, check and see if they got my, why they there? Don't let them leave. See if they got my shirts, Sam. Make sure they ain't got my shirts. If they got my shirts, you get them for me and I'm gonna come get them from you, all right? I think I can only cut one of these things out on this thing and I'm gonna have to go get the another roll. Jose says so deep husband is in the hospital for a few months. I hope everything goes well for her and her husband. Yeah, and I know he had been sick and stuff, but I did try um, you know, try contacting her. Um, Jules says so deep has been busy. I reached out to her the other day. She's got a lot going on. Keep her in your prayers. I, I always do. I I always do because I know she, you know, she have, she be dealing with a lot. What? UPS banned me ever since they <laughs> messed up my shipping and made me drive an hour. Oh, in an ice storm to get it from downtown. Luckily, I didn't crash like a lot of people. Man, hey, don't be, don't be going down there acting up, John. Don't, don't do that. Do not do it. You know, sometimes they be having workers that don't really want to work. You know, like, I never, did I, I don't know if I even told y'all about, I, I know I told y'all about the issues I was having with UPS, but, um, like, the UPS guy, 
I was having a lot of issues with him and I'm like, why, why am I having so many issues with this dude? You know, I don't, I don't bother people. Like, it, you know, my thing is if it's a problem with me and somebody, I'm just going to stay away from them, you know, but, um, like, the the UPS guy he would he passed by like when I moved here I thought I was gonna get my package early because when I I've been doing this for like twelve years so whenever I was at my old shop that's like in the middle of town this is like right when you coming into town where UPS will be coming from so I should get my packages early I should be the like one of the first stops so whenever he started driving I would be looking for my package it would be after five o'clock and. I would never know when I was going to get my packages and stuff like that. But, um, what's up, Ian? How you doing? How you doing, Ian? <laughs> but, like, whenever, with all of the other drivers, like, numerous different drivers, I would either, either meet them, like, right out there where the 18-wheelers park, I would meet them there if they had packages down the road, or I would meet them at the school or at the veterinarian's office, which is like two places that, that are their first stops once they get in town. But um, that and I had all of their phone numbers. I don't have the new guy's phone number because I haven't needed to because he, you know, he's been doing so good. I haven't asked for his phone number or nothing. But um, you know, he usually on time and stuff. I'm gonna have to check online because maybe it's an issue and and the package won't be here till tomorrow because it have been. Um, stuff like that going on. So if it is, I don't know what I'm gonna do today. Cause I don't, I don't have anything else um, that I have to do unless some, if somebody come at me back and let me know that they approve of their design, then I can do it. But if not, I don't have nothing else to do today. I'm trying to put my glasses on upside down. It looked like yours have ordered. It looked like yours. I have ordered it. I have not received it yet. What you talking about? Let me go back up and see. Sam says, run the UPS track. Yeah, I'm going to go on the website and run it. I just, because I ordered it early yesterday. Um, but it's an order that's not needed until the weekend. So as long as I have it done by Friday, you know, I'll just get it done first thing whenever it comes in. Do you outsource your designs? Um, I usually create my own designs, but sometimes if the customer have artwork and it's not good, I send it out. But usually I create my own, or if it's something that's complicated, you know, I, I might send it out. What's up, Ann? Look, let me get my little stool over here. I'm gonna grab this other roll of vinyl right quick because I think I might need it. So I got this vinyl right here. RCAL 651. I used that, um, I think it was 851 before. And this is a bit thicker. But it's hard to find quickly. Because I don't really, I mean I do vinyl. But I, like the vinyl uh, decals, I don't really like doing them. But... I get a lot of people that want them done. All right, let me see if, can I do another one in here? Nope, that's not gonna be long enough to do another one. That's how much I had left. So it's not quite enough to do another one. 
I'm going to cut that off real quick. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and load this other roll. That sticky, sticky tack that I put on here. It, um, What's up, Erica from California? What's up, Woodard? Appreciate you jumping on here with us. What's up, Ann? How you doing? Now I got the um, email sent, but it's
that really even helps with the um, paper maybe. You just stick this inside this for the roll. I'll do it in a minute. What's I let me see. Let me find my glasses right quick. They're not on my head. Oh, they over here. They right over here. Yeah, that's the printer I have. Um, how do I feel about FedEx? FedEx is good. My, when I was on the other side of town, I had a different FedEx guy. And he always was doing stuff. He had no business. He, like, um, I had called him one time and he was like, I could come and get my package. He was like, I'm over by, he, you know, I had, I was like, hey, I was trying to see if I could get my package early. He was like, sure, I'm over by the barber shop. So, I'm going over by the barbershop. I'm thinking that he's delivering packages to the barbershop. But he's in there getting his hair cut. <laughs> he's in there getting his hair cut. And he, uh, it was a lady barber that was cutting his hair. And they're just like chatting it up. Like they're real good friends. And there's nothing wrong with, you know, with that. Uh-oh. Hold on. Let me do this. Because I might have to... Cut another thing out. <laughs> no fancy. One reason I do not like doing these stickers. Give me a sec, y'all. While I'm weeding the inside of it out, I can um chat with y'all. All right. Get this part off. And all right. We good on that one. My bad. Y'all couldn't even see me weeding it, huh? Y'all couldn't see the issues I was having. Um, let me, I'm gonna show you what it looks like on here. Now I need glasses now. I never used to need a light pad, light pad, but um, now that I have reached a certain age, since I turned 21 a few times, now it's, uh, you know, I be needing glasses to see the lines, but it does kind of help. I'm going to show you on this next one. Now with the paper, because it's having to shine through a thicker paper, it is a little bit, um, you know, a little bit harder to see than if you was just cutting regular vinyl. And then I also think it depends on the vinyl that you have and how you cut it. Like if you don't cut it using the correct setting, sometimes it's harder to see the lines than it would be if you if you use the correct settings. But um, give me a second and. I'll show you, I'll try to let you see on this, really. Come on, vinyl. Don't act up with me today, come on. All right. Um, this is RKL, this is RKL 561. Um, I just showed, let me see. I just showed it because I just opened a new roll of it. I said 561, 651, my bad. That's what it is right here, RKL 651. And I just ordered this from Amazon because I don't do a lot of vinyl. I don't do a lot of vinyl, but uh, 
for this this ear right here. But sometimes I get a lot of orders. I don't really do like. I don't know. I don't even advertise that I do that, but people are always asking me. People are always asking me if I do stuff that I don't advertise that I do. And a lot of times, if I can do it, I will. But like, if uh, my bad, I didn't even let you see. Like you see right here with this vinyl, you can't really, you can't really see through this. But I can see the cut lines real good. Let me see. Let me see if I can. You see right there when I zoom in, you can see the cut lines on here real good. You know, it, it kind of depends on if you have your settings right. Because I have cut out things and my settings wasn't wasn't that good. And I have had problems, um, you know, trying to get it cut out. Put both of them on there to hold it down. Sometimes it sticks to itself if it won't stay flat. It's peeling all up. I didn't even try to do that for yet. No, I need this. All right, so on some of the parts right here, this part got stuck to itself. Let me see. So I have to peel that off. Come on. I'm going to lift this end up. It's gonna be all right. I gotta put the um stuff on there. What's up, Michaela? What's the weather like over in, in Hawaii? I'm sure it's lovely. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm about to knock the camera out. I'm sure it's lovely out there in Hawaii. Yeah, this is very easy to weed. This the the RKL 651, real easy. I printed the DTF Junior Gang. I'm like 109 minutes into it now, but I did that already. I'm waiting on them to deliver some t-shirts so I can print. What's up? Is that Kelly's? Kelly's printing? How you doing? But yeah, a light pad can be helpful, mostly for the um, vinyl that's not paper backed, which will be the t-shirt vinyl because you can see through it better. But a lot of times when it's um, people saying they can't see it, they haven't cut it out right. Let me see if I, I'm going to pull this out of the trash can. I tried to cut a design out of this right here the other day. I don't know if y'all can even see the cut marks on it, but I could not weed this. I was trying to do a, a shirt for me to wear to my son again, and it just was issue. So let me see. I'm going to put it on here. I don't think I had it on the right settings. So, you see how, I'm going to see if I can zoom y'all in on here. 
Like, you see how you can see the lines on here? You see, let me see. When you turn it this way, because it's white, you can't really see them that good. But like, like when I put it up here, y'all can't see the lines, you see? You can't really see the lines, it just, well, you can a little bit when the light shines on it, but like just looking at it right here, you can't see them as well. But when I put it here, you can see it really well. But I couldn't even weed the design. I um I don't know, it might not be messed up as bad as I'm thinking, but I just got tired of fooling with it. Cause I like tore this part right here, right here. And I just was like, you know what? I'm done. Like I was, I don't know. I don't think I had the settings right. Like, or, but you see also it's separating. You see right here, it's separating right here. So that's still there, but this has peeled off. So I don't know. It just a problem with that, with that vinyl. This was some vinyl that somebody sent me. So it, it just, wasn't working out for me, so I just kind of ended. And I was actually making a video, too. Hey, it's always nice there. <laughs> it's always nice in Hawaii. But, yeah, I just threw this in the trash because I was like, I'm done with it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and um, get this paper to put on there. Get some, I'm getting some transfer paper, y'all. Do I need a big one? Probably. I'm gonna put my um my thing back on here because I don't know if it's gonna stick to that. I know it will slightly, it'll slightly stick to this, but it's easier to peel off, and I don't want to have no issues. So I'm gonna put this back on here. And I got my roll of transfer paper. I'm gonna back y'all up a little bit. Let me check this film out and make sure I'm gonna be able to use it. Yeah, it's gonna be right. All right. So I first need to unroll this some. I unroll it as long as I'm gonna need it to be and try to do it without tearing. All right, that should be good enough right there. So then, my bad, let me get this where it won't stick to itself too much. All right, so then, I like to, let me get my squeegee out for this. I like to, oh! <laughs> I just messed up. I just messed up y'all. Let me see if I can fix it. I'ma just tear this off and start over. I should have had my squeegee out first. That's one reason I don't like fooling with this stuff. Because it can be issues. Alright, that should be good right there. Don't do not fall, bro. Work with your girl. All right, so I'm trying to make it curve in the center. All right, so you want it to kind of curve in the center, and then you drop it down in the center. And it's not straight. But we're going to make it work. Oh, 
And so now I just take this and cut it off on the end. It's not straight. I like to have extra, uh, extra at the top. So when I'm putting the decals on, I can stick the top part on there and make sure that this part of it is straight. So I would like just stick it right there. And then I would peel, I would start peeling this part up while it's stuck here. It'll be in the right place once you peel the backing off of it. But I just like start peeling it up like this. And then all you gotta do is smooth, smooth it out. That's usually how I do it. Um, you can use the wet method, but I don't use the wet method. When you use the wet method, if you don't put it in the right place, you can you can fix it. But I don't I don't use that method. So um I'm gonna cut this straight. I'm gonna have to reposition it though, so I can cut that and make it straight. Get my ruler real quick. And I'm going to just put it on this top line and cut it straight across. Moves slightly, but it's still all right. And I actually, um, I got a, well, the guy, he paid for me to go to his location and print it, but, um, I don't know, he, he, I might get him to bring it over here and just refund him back the other part of his money because I prefer to be here and print. Or put it on there. It's not really printing. Cause then I have like I can just leave this laying out over here, but if I have to take it to his place, I gotta put it in a box and I gotta take all my supplies. And like if I mess up, cause I have messed up before and had to like redo part of the design, I have to come all oh, I have to come all the way over here. Didn't cut that just straight, but as long as the top part is, is pretty straight, I'm good. So what I usually do is put some on top of this so that the tape will lay down and put it somewhere. I'll be right back. I'm put it on the front counter for now. Alright, where's the other one at? I don't know what I did with the other one. Oh, it's over here. Rolled up on the floor. That's not a good place for it. doing this guy stuff for years like he um uh, 
he just got that white truck that I did, and he just getting another truck. So he's being successful. All right. So I put my knee in here to try to make it curve a little bit. We're gonna move this because I don't want it to start and mess up. I don't like how the end of this is, so I'm going to put a little bit more. Really? And you, you really can make a lot of money doing decals because decal vinyl is like super cheap. It's super cheap and uh, your first job will probably pay for the whole row. Even if you get bigger rows, your first job will probably pay for the whole row. So after that, you in, in good business. Where's my... And that's it. Um, uh, this is a, um, the way that I do it, it's like, I do a 12, I have 12 by 12, I have 24 by 24. 
Now, this paper that I'm using is, well, it's like up to a size 12 by 12, up to a size 24 by 24, and what's the other size? No, actually, I have a smaller size. I think it's 6 by 6, 12 by 12, and 24 by 24. So for this one right here, um, for a 20, and, and it's not going to be exactly 24 by 24 every time, especially when I have the 12 paper, but if it's 24 inches wide, so it's like 24 inches up to, you know, 24 inches wide up to 24 inches, you know, that's how I do my pricing. So if it's, if it's 24 inches tall or wide, it's going to be $30. I charge $30 for just the decal. And then, um, depending on where I'm at, like if they bring it here, I'll charge uh, ten dollars to put it on, you know, to put one on. So if they, since they got two, this this was two of them, so that's sixty dollars for just the decals, and then you know to install because I'm installing on like I can't even talk on location, but it's not far from here. I just charge ten dollars to go to their location, but um, a lot of people charge more than that. Like that's why a lot of people come over here, but um, you know, a lot of people come get me to do it because they go to the other place and it's way more expensive. But you can make a killing with this, and my prices are cheap. Like I could raise them up. I really don't. I don't know if I get to doing like way more than I would like to do. Cause see, when I when you do decals, you're gonna go outside and you're gonna sweat. <laughs> And I don't want to sweat all the time. And then when I, it's a difference in outside sweating when it's hot than you in here under the air and you working and you sweating a little bit. Because I'll be like, I don't worked out. Let me see. What's up, Oscar? How you doing? Let me see what Oscar said because I didn't see him on here. Yeah, what's up, Oscar? I see you now. Excuse me. Yeah, I probably do need a roll holder, but I don't really, uh, you know, I, I'm really, to be honest with you, I really prefer not to do the decals, but I, be, I don't really be liking to turn people down. I did turn a guy down. Um, cause he was wanting too much. So I, I did turn, turn him down. If it's something simple, I'll do it. But if it get too crazy, more than about two colors, I'm, I don't do it. Yeah, I, I'm supposed to be installing it. He at first was like, I can put it on. I was like, whatever you want. I prefer them to install it. But, um, yeah. What's up, Patrice? How you doing? I know, Michaela. That's why I it keep moving when I'm cutting it like that. That's why I be moving because, because I'm like I need my fingers. I need my fingers. My fingers, not my fingers, but my fingers. Um, my light pad came with this grid. It's like a it's a clear grid that came with my light pad. I I had a um I used to have that link in the app, but it's by Lit Energy. I got it from Amazon, but I, I probably got a link for it down below. Um, I usually, unless I, you know, sometimes I use that one, but a lot of times I put this one. My bad, y'all can't even see it, but it came with this. Y'all see it's like the perfect size of it. But um, a lot of times I put this on top of it when I'm just like cutting regular stuff because when you cut on here, you can't see where you have cut it. Well, right here, I guess you can a little bit, but it's supposed to be a self-healing thing this one is supposed to be self-healing too but because it's clear and i kind of like that it's clear i try not to cut on it too much but as you see right there you can see some cut markings on there maybe i don't know you might not can see it they do it on camera but i it's kind of got some cut markings on there i'm waiting on these doggone ups folks come on Patrice says, I'm from San Francisco, been in Georgia three years with my daughter.
Yeah, I know I can, like for that, I can, I can charge way more than that, but I only do them if it's simple. Yeah, like the, the, that price, you can, you can really charge maybe $50 for each one of them. I'm not even sure exactly because I, you know, I just, um, I just started off doing it for a few people that needed them. That's why, you know, and then I just kind of stuck with my pricing because if it's, if it's, um, if it's more than like two colors, I usually don't do it. You know, if it's one or two colors, I like to just do the one color ones to be honest. John says I'm waiting on FedEx and UPS and USPA. USPS, I was waiting on them yesterday. They they usually come at 9 a.m. So I got here super early, but then the guy didn't come until after one o'clock because the regular lady wasn't there. So I just saw something on how to heal yourself healing mats. Can't remember the instructions. We'll have to Google it. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, like tw like twelve by twelve inches, and I base it on like um, I do six by six, which is a small decal. Then I I go up to twelve by twelve. Then I go twenty four by twenty four. So if it's six or I'm just gonna say twenty four. If it's twenty four wide, then it's you know it's gonna be the thirty dollars. So you know, and then if you get a twelve by twelve, twenty dollars. So you know. I don't be trying to beat them over the head with it because you you really, really... And see, that roll of vinyl that I bought, um, I think it... I don't even remember. I want to say it might have been a 10-foot roll. But you you can kill, like for real. You can kill with that. So I just saw something on how to heal you. Okay. I have to try it. I have to try it because I have not um, really tried to um, do too much with it. Patrice says delivery has been crazy. I've been waiting for something from Amazon. Yeah, um, all of the Amazon stuff, like I pay for Prime, but they have not been getting here in two days. Now, a few weeks ago, the packages was coming before two days. They was like all coming next day. And I'm like, come on, because like I be um scheduling my stuff. Like, if it's gonna be here at a certain on a certain day or whatever. You know, I be here. I make sure that I'm here early and stuff. But even with Prime, it's been it's been being late. I ordered this vinyl on Saturday, which would have made it supposed to come Monday, but it didn't come. Well, it, it didn't say it was coming until Tuesday, but then it didn't come until yesterday because it arrived in town late and the post office delivered it. So that's the thing with that. Um, and see, the only thing with these decals, now I have to... I have to find somewhere to store them. I'm gonna put them on a big table in the back. Yep, I'm gonna put them on my big table in the back. I'll be back, y'all. I'm gonna run back here and do this right quick. Yes, the Prime haven't been on time, but if you call them and complain to them, sometimes they'll give you a credit, like a $10 credit or something. Darren said, I just came across one of your videos and come in at nice work. Thank you, Darren. I appreciate it. I, I was answering some comments last night. I had went to sleep early yesterday. It was still daytime outside, and I woke up and was like answering comments last night. Yeah. Amazon be dropping the ball sometimes. Sometimes they real quick, and then sometimes they be dropping the ball. If you have a uh, student email, like a school email, you can get 
Amazon for a reduced price. See, I got a, I got a, <laughs> I, I have always had, what's up Mimi, how you doing? I've always had good uh, UPS people. It's been the other people that I have had issues with, but um, yeah. Look, these are the DTF shirts I printed earlier. I printed this LeBron James one right here. And I let the, I let y'all decide what color shirt to print it on. That's the DTF print right there. If you look on that L, the white part, it's got some little halftone prints on it. I got this, this one right here, the space guy. And that's DTF transfer right here. And as y'all see, you see those little dots on there? That's like very small details. So you can get a lot of detail with the DTF printing. And no, I do not have a DTF printer. Um, I was uh, talking with um, Big Boy on Instagram and he sent me those. Darren says, I'd rather support someone like you than Teespring. I'm working on my logo. Sienna, is that is that C Sienna or Sienna? Hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. It says, and if you have EBT. Cherie says, my prime takes a week coming to my house when I have it sent to my daughter's house, which is 10 minutes. You know what? That's crazy. Like I live 10 miles from here, but if I it'll add an extra day or two to mine too, if I, you know, if I put it going to my house. But like, I remember even in the same town, I like on, when I was on the other side of town, like sometimes I would have the stuff sent to my mom's house because I would put it coming to my shop and it was a cop flying down the road. I would put it coming to my shop and it would take an extra day sometimes. And then when I changed the address and send it to my mom's, it would come, the, you know, earlier. So I would do that. What's up, BG? Hello, thanks for being an inspiration. Are you going to sell DTG transfers? Um, I don't have a printer. These are samples that um, Big Boy Prince had. I was uh, I was talking to him on Instagram. We was like messaging back and forth and he sent those to me. What's up, Craft With Love? Appreciate you jumping on here. Um, I wasn't supposed to be on here this long, but I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for the people to bring my shirts. Let me check my, my phone. I might have to call this person. I was trying to have their shirts ready for pickup tomorrow, but it might be Monday. Let me see. I got some, I was looking on here. I need to put some of this stuff on Instagram, some of these pictures. Thank you, Michaela. Appreciate it. I think Amazon delay. Yeah, it probably is. But sometimes, like um, a couple of weeks ago, they was delivering the day before they supposed to deliver, like the next day. Sometimes I get it the next day, but they have been kind of kind of later now. You have such, you come such a long way, I think. You are some of the first people I subscribe to on YouTube. Hey, I started from pretty much nothing. Like, if y'all remember my other shop, I it used to be empty. And then after a while, I was, it was like I was in a sardine can. <laughs> then when I got that big heat press, I, I was just like, you know what? I got to get up out of this place. But this place, like, this place is, um, I think the guy said it was 11,000 square foot. I, I believe I might be saying the wrong thing, but I think he said it was 11,000 square foot or something like that i i could be wrong but this like let me see i can kind of show y'all but all the equipment that i got what's up janice how you doing but yeah like i sell blank shirts now and vinyl and this is you know just the front area right here and you come back here and you take a left and this is what I call the red room. This is like my screen printing room right here. 
All right, so then you come back in here. This is the blue room. This is the embroidery and heat press room right here. That's where I was just working at earlier today. Let me turn this light off and turn this other light off. And in here, as y'all see, got a lot of stuff piled up over here. I had moved this heat press over here and I don't know, I'm still kind of rearranging my room and stuff like that. If you could change anything, would you, or do you have any regrets? Um, I think with embroidery, I would have got into embroidery sooner. Um, and I don't know, I, with the Epson printer that I got, since I got this big heat press, I, I wasn't really thinking about, um, when I first got the Epson printer, I was not thinking about the oversized printing. But then when I, when I did, I was like, I should have got a bigger printer. Um, I wish I would have went ahead and saved up. Like once I got that Ryanet silver press, I wish I would have went ahead and saved up and got the best screen printing press I could afford at that time. Instead of just saying, okay, I have enough to get this cheapest carousel press, you know? Um, thank you, Karen. I, I appreciate it. Colorado in the building. How can I expand my t-shirt business to do multiple colors right now? I do vinyl and heat transfer paper, or should I upgrade the programs I use? Um, You can use any programs. You can use free, uh, free programs. To, believe it or not, you can actually, if you can get a design and just put it in Microsoft Word, you could, you could screen print that, you know, or you could, I don't know if you could like use it on the cutters. What's up? Jay, is that Jay? No, I'm from Louisiana. So we, we would say no, N-E-A-U-X would be no, or it could be Knox. John says, anybody in Nebraska? But um, Kraft says, I have a notification on my screen right now about being a member, but I'm already a subscriber. Is it because I'm on my laptop and not on my phone? Um, if um, a member and a subscriber, that's, that's two different things. The member, a member is like a paid membership where you get like special videos. Like sometimes when I do live streams, it's only a, a member's only live stream and only members can chat. So, you know, it's just like some extra things that you get. But, um, I think printing faster, however you can do where you print faster could help because say that you're, you having to weave vinyl for every single shirt that you do. Um, okay, transfers might be faster than vinyl, but at the same time, transfers might not be what you need because sometimes it might take longer or sometimes you might have smaller orders and transfers can get expensive when you're ordering one or two transfers, especially when you're having to pay the shipping and stuff like that. So um, it's a lot of different ways that you can do. I am gonna, let me see. Let me write this, write this down and I can talk about that on one of these motivational Mondays where I can give you like a lot of as much info as I can. Actually, I'm just going to, let me see. I can just screenshot it. I don't know if I can screenshot on here. I'll just take a picture of it. But to do multiple colors, if you're trying to expand your business, I would say screen printing. If you could get into screen printing, screen printing is the cheapest uh, is the cheapest way to print shirts. So you can offer better prices, you can print faster, and screen printing is not going to come off. And it's different ways, like depending on what type of screen printing um, you're doing, you can make it where your prints don't have much of a hand on them, or you can make the prints thicker and stuff like that. Like you can use. Um, they got soft inks that you can use. You can do ink additives that soften, soften the ink. You can do water-based printing, stuff like that. But, um, but yeah, I don't understand how folks say screen printing without using inks. I don't understand how folks say screen printing without using inks. My opinion, screen printing isn't vinyl. I'm not sure what you mean, BG. Um, like you said, without using ink. Well, I mean, you 
you using ink or whatever to do it. It's different types of ink and stuff like that, but you're not using a lot of ink. Like you, like when you put, when you're using ink, it's a lot more economical than, than the other types. So when you have like big orders, you know, you can, if somebody ordered a thousand shirts, say that you, you, um, print shirts and you might like for vinyl shirts, because the vinyl is more expensive, you couldn't charge $5 for a shirt because the vinyl is so expensive. And then with the t-shirts, but with screen printing, you could charge $5 for a shirt and make a good profit. Well, depending on what type of shirts you're printing, if you're just printing like a gilded 5,000, you know, a basic something, you know. Um, my favorite thing to do is screen printing. I don't know. I just, I love screen printing. I like the, um, I like the embroidery too, but sometimes it's a lot of troubleshooting with the embroidery. Sometimes the machine goes so smooth and you don't have no issues, but then sometimes it's, it's troubleshooting with it. And um, I like for stuff to go smoothly. And then the thing with the machine, the machine is just a machine, kind of like any other machine. So it's going to just do what it do. If you have something wrong, you got to figure it out. The machine not going to tell you what's wrong. But like with screen printing, if I'm having a problem, I look at it and I'm like, okay, this problem is because of this. Like sometimes the machine might just um, stitch something kind of wonky and then you got to figure out how to fix it, you know, because um, you might have did a stitch out or whatever, but then it might start stitching in a weird way and then it'll fix itself after it's stitched for a minute. You know, it, it's just stuff like that with the embroidery. Um, I like the sublimation printing too, but um, I don't like being so close to that heat press. Like when you're doing the heat press printing and stuff like that, you get hotter than when you're screen printing. And like in my other shop, like now that I have like better equipment or whatever, um, it's insulated and stuff. So it don't get as hot in, in my shop, like how it used to, um, when I didn't have that good of equipment. So, um, I like, I like the, um, screen printing. is to be a, a t-shirt. Yeah, you'll be like a member of my channel, a channel member. What's up, Olivia? How you doing? Yeah, I used to use water-based inks when I first started out too, BG. And I just, I started using, like the water-based ink, I feel like it's easier for when you're starting out because most people, I mean, some people, they had the money to buy everything. I didn't. So by me starting out using the water-based ink, I let the ink air dry. When I was doing a lot of shirts, you know, you let it air dry and then you heat press it to cure it and you're good to go. But like with the um, plastic salt ink, it's not going to dry until you get it up to 320 degrees. You can dry it to touch, but if you don't get it up to 320 degrees, it'll wash out. But like with the water-based ink, you the, it'll dry in the air. Where can I find a color guide for mixing like a color wheel? Um, I am not, I'm not sure um, for that type of stuff. Now they do have like color mixing systems like Pantone mixing systems that you can buy. They, they're a bit expensive, you know. Um, it may be cheaper if you're not doing a lot of Pantone, Pantone colors. It may be cheaper to just you know, send it out and charge that to the customer. But if you're doing a lot, then you may want to um, get one of those. And that way you wouldn't have to be paying every time you have an order, but you also change that. I mean, charge that to your customer. I didn't know screen printing has different versatile of it. Yep. It's a lot of different types of ink. It's different brands of ink. Um, you got, Water base ink, you got uh what is it called? Discharge, you have plastisol, and I'm sure it's some other inks like UV inks and different things like that. Um, um well I don't I don't think it's called UV inks. What is it called? Uh like when you're printing on like signs and stuff, like you can screen print onto like though like the um what do you call it? Campaign signs and stuff like that. Is there a printer 
or is it just multiple screen? It's multiple screens. Like you see this back here, that screen printing. Let me bring you around here. You can print full color photos with screen printing. Like this right here, you have to have to do something like this. This is a, uh, let me move it back where you can see the whole thing. This is, this was done with, with uh, Serma ink series, water-based inks. And these, this is, um, this is all screen print. All of this, this whole thing is screen printed. And um, they use a different screen for each one. And because they're printing on black, they have to use an underbase. You, you do have to have a, uh, what do you call it? A, it's a program that makes it so that you can print like this. And I can't think of what it's called right now. A rip, a rip software. You have to have a rip software. I got this from an ISS show. I do not offer this type of printing, but I do keep that there for motivation because I do eventually want to get to that, that point where I can do that type of printing. Um, I, I can show you. I just showed it earlier, but I can show you my first print that was like a multicolor print. I don't know where UPS is at today. It must be a different guy. Or something like this print right here. This was my first multicolor print, and that that's not the most colors I've ever done, but that was just my first one. I don't have one in here with the most I've ever done. I've had I've used all six um screens to do it. And this is you got the yellow, you got the gray, red, black. So that's four colors. The orange is actually the shirt, so it's a it's a five-color design but it's really only four colors. And I did use the gray as an underbase for like this part right here. So I just printed right on top of that gray. I have used a yellow for underbase too. So, you know, depending on what you're printing and stuff like that. Thank you, Janice. I did not design this. This is a team out of Shreveport. I used to play, it's a semi-pro basketball team. And I used to play for that team. So because I did t-shirts, I made that shirt one day and just wore it to practice. And I did get a, a big order from them after I did that because they sell the shirts at the game. Have you ever used this charging? No, I have not. I have not ever used it. Yeah, you got to have good ventilation if you're going to be using that. How did you, how did you start your t-shirt business? I need um, on Mondays, I do motivational Mondays, Ray, trying to help people with the t-shirt business and stuff like that. But, um, I do have, like, we talk about different topics and, um, like the, a person just had something that I thought would make a good conversation, but we conversate and you can even come on, you can even come on and, um, you know, chat with me, come on live and chat with me if you have questions and stuff like that. But, um... But yeah, like the way that the way that I started out, um, and I don't know where the battery is at on this thing. So if if I go off, that means the battery died because I do not have my battery pack. Let me see. Maybe I can plug in. Maybe I can go and go back in this other room and plug in. Um, cause let me see. I can get an extension cord. Maybe. Yeah, I, I can get an extension cord and plug in. But um. Now it says, hey, I love to watch a YouTube video. You, They have a lot of information. I appreciate you watching. Ray says, I would definitely join new subscriber. Thank you, Ray. I appreciate you um, subscribing. But yeah, on Mondays after five, I actually missed this week because my son had a, a basketball game, a makeup game. Like with everything that's going on, they've had to, um, you know, reschedule a lot of games. They actually was supposed to have a game today, but it was canceled. Jewel, what's... The T's and more says make make sure to sub and subscribe. Thank you for that, Jewel. Um, is that Halton's Halton's family vlog says hello. How you doing? Kara says, is it possible to sublimate on a screen print ink? I am not sure. I don't know. I cannot. I can't answer that one. Let me see. The plug for this thing is way down there. I probably come out better going in the other room because I got a plug that's up high. And I can watch the camera to see when UPS come. Let me see.
Let me get this thing and plug it in. Bring it down some. I'm gonna put this on here so I won't lose it. What's up, Tony? How you doing? Um, let me see. I see there have been two thumbs down. Hey, it's always haters. <laughs> it's always haters. But it's crazy. Like, if you watch most of my videos, they have two thumbs down. So, you know, I expect that every time. It was a time when I did never get thumbs down and stuff. But, you know, when you start getting more subscribers and succeeding and stuff like that, people start hating. Thank you, BG. BG says, have, have you ever? Oh, I answered that. No, I have not. But um, to start a t-shirt business, what I did, I just got a cutter. Well, I first got a heat press, and I used to buy transfers from Walmart and print them out with my inkjet printer. And then um, once I print them out with the inkjet printer, I would press them on the shirt for my little boy. And then I was like, okay, I want to be able to do letters. So I found out about vinyl cutters and I ended up um, get, starting to get bigger orders. And then, well, originally I was only printing for people that I knew, but then like word of mouth travel and I started printing more like for my church and different stuff like that. And, um, and then I ended up getting a building. And once I got the building, it, you know, I had people I didn't know coming in and stuff like that. I've talked about that a few times. Um, next Friday on the first on the first of October, I would be on Big Boy Prince YouTube channel at 9 p.m. So I would appreciate if all 75 of y'all go on there and check me out. I appreciate that. And um just you know show some support. But it will be on the first. I will continue to um let y'all know about it, but I'm sure I probably would be going through like starting from day one, telling how I started printing shirts and a lot of different things. I don't know what all we're going to be talking about right now, but yeah. Let me see. Hilton says we just started printing. Cyril, Cyril says I just did put thumb, thumbs up. I appreciate it. And you from New York? All the way from New York City? All right. I haven't been to New York yet. Maybe I can make it there one day. What's up, es Esperanza? How you doing? Jay says, how do you like DTF and does it last after one show? I have not. Um, I, I just got transfers, like some sample transfers to print. I will let y'all know. Um, this is like just the part two video, but I have not, not been, um, doing it long enough to let you know, but I only had sample transfers. I printed those and I will be, um, you know, paying attention to them and letting you guys know how everything goes with them. And I'll be wearing, um, I got one of the shirts that I printed for me on the last live stream and I'll be wearing that. My son will be wearing one, my nephew and my mom. So I will be, um, keeping y'all up to date with that. Um, I don't have a DTF printer. Those were samples that were sent to me. Cyril says, I'm a new beginner. I have a lot of videos that could probably help you, Cyril. If it's specific things that you're looking to learn how to do, you can go on my page and um and look at some of my playlists. So I have like some design playlists on there for Photoshop. Um, I have uh how to, you know, how to step by step how to videos on there and stuff like that. So um you can go in there and check some of that out. But 
But y'all, I'm going to go ahead and jump off of here because I got to try to see what's going on with my package because I was hoping to be able to get this order printed today. But it looked like I may not. Um, I, like I was saying, BB, is that BB or 8, 8-bit? I'm sorry, 8-bit. Um, I just, I haven't even had a chance to wear one of the shirts yet. So I cannot even tell you, but I will be, if you, um, subscribe and hit that thumb, the, the thumbs, the notification button, um, eventually I'll be telling you about it because i will be wearing it and stuff like that and i'll let you know after the first wa first wash how it do and you know continue after that you're welcome Korsha. Korsha, i appreciate you watching thank you jewel i appreciate that but yeah i'm gonna get ready to jump off of here um i'm in the chair getting my fresh Spring to all right, all right then. <laughs> Look, when I when I was at the salon, um, last time I was at the salon, I had a lot of people like I had took my hair down because it was just like how it is now, and um, and I had went in there with it just out because I don't ever wear my hair like that. Everybody, I was getting a lot of compliments and stuff, and then um, I had a lot of people that was like, "You got really good hair," but it's hard, you know, my hair is hard to manage, so. As y'all see, I've had to, well, the ones of y'all that's been with me, I had to get it cut again because I wasn't, like, taking care of it the way I needed to. But, um, it's bouncing back, though. But it, it looks, like, really short, but it's, like, it's, like, she was showing me that it's, like, down, you know, it's down on my back back here or whatever. So, you know, it just looks short because, you know, that's how natural hair do. It just, it looks short, but it's not as short as it looks. It just springs up appreciate that eight bit but i i'll be updating y'all i'll be updating you because i just got the transfers last week and i actually have not i thank you i appreciate that i have not had a chance to um even wash them yet but i will be updating y'all but um i'm gonna go ahead and jump off of here i appreciate y'all getting on here i'm gonna eat something i guess because it is lunchtime here it's almost one o'clock and hopefully UPS will come on. So I'm going to get this package print, this package printed, this order printed. But, um, let me see. Hey, that shrinkage, I can't even talk. Shrinkage is real. It really is. Hey, put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead, jump off of here. And I will, thank you 8-Bit. I'm going to get ready to get off of here, and um, I hope to see all of y'all in another video, and until then, y'all be blessed.